What is going on guys and welcome to the first official Black Ops 4 video on my channel. Today we are going to be talking about the game itself, what I like, what I don't like and what I'm kind of looking forward to going forward. So what is up guys, my name is Luke also known as Upson and welcome to another video on my channel. So as you are seeing in the background you are seeing a quite decent gameplay on the map 9. It's always a little bit awkward when you have to stop your gameplay uh, because essentially you try to go and record the bookmarked gameplay of your zombies gameplay and it basically crashes your PlayStation. That, that's always fun. Um, so yeah, try and enjoy the rest of the video. I know I'm going to talk about um, the map, but don't worry about it. It doesn't really pertain to the gameplay. It's fine the zombies map one of the original zombies map that actually comes with the game and to be honest this map just spoke to me and i've enjoyed it more than any other map so far mainly due to the fact that it's easy to work out and a lot of things on the map are easy to do which in retrospect a lot of the time when you come into new zombies maps you expect that there's going to be one or another that is going to be relatively easier than the others and for me this is like i said the one that speaks to me and the gameplay that you are seeing i don't know what it looks like at the moment because i haven't chosen the part i've still got to go through the theater and decide what part of the gameplay you're going to see but i did get to round 44. now i did play this on casual because i realized after going back and forth and playing the game quite a lot just on the normal because i thought normal is what everyone else is playing it actually turns out if you play it on the uh the casual side it's like a normal ex zombies experience which is really cool and I like the fact that they did that and they even added a mode which is called like hardcore and stuff like that so you actually get the opportunity to play different versions of the same map but making it harder for yourself or less difficult for yourself but regardless of what you do your highest round and everything like that actually goes into the game and you don't have to worry about anything like that now sadly there are no leaderboards yet but i'm absolutely grinding my ass off as it stands i am level 31 on zombies and i'm level 28 on multiplayer and if we move into multiplayer it is also an amazing experience this year i decided to change things up and i strongly suggest that you guys actually try this because if you're one of the people who are like oh my god everyone's jump shot on me or drop shot on me you stick and move Honestly, it changed the game for me and it made it such a better experience. Um, stick and move is basically where you use the right analog stick where you press R3, which is pushing the analog stick in, and it allows you to jump with the analog stick. Therefore, you don't have to waste money on a scuff, you don't need modded controllers, you don't need anything special. It's up to you if you want to play flipped with the uh, R1, R2 buttons at the back, uh, L1, R2, L2 as well. Um, and to be honest, I don't really feel the difference. Some people might say otherwise, but to be honest, the multiplayer experience has been fun. As I played for the first time, I probably was on for about 10 hours. I did start the night with a stream, but I just felt like I wanted to play. Uh, I was going to do just zombies because I was thought, do you know what, I'm going to just put zombies content on this channel. But to be honest, there is a lot in this game and there is so much more to offer. There's so many new game modes. There's also so many different ways that you can level up. The streaks are actually decent and all the guns seem to be relatively decent in comparison to each other obviously once again with every call of duty i don't really say this in the videos in the past when i've reviewed a new call of duty but there are certain assault rifles that once you get to those assault rifles you'll never want to put them down again um, but as i say, i haven't got to those assault rifles yet but i have definitely picked them up and i have played some bots games just to see what it's like so i mean overall in my opinion the game is absolutely sick uh, the only thing that I have a discrepancy against is obviously one, like I said, the leaderboards. For whatever reason, they take so long to put them in the game. And I remember in World War II, they took six, six to eight weeks to actually put the leaderboards in the game. And by that time, I was already burnt out on it. I didn't really enjoy it. But to be honest, sitting here playing this game, I have never felt more in tune with a game. And I think it's just the Black Ops series because I mentioned numerous times in old videos, streams, etc., that the Black Ops series is my favorite series because they just know how to make a game the guys at Treyarch know how to entice people now I haven't played Blackout this year yet because purely on the basis that I'm just trying to get to grips with the game and enjoy the game myself um, and a few of my mates haven't got PS Plus or someone like Ollie who's 
going to be old enough but isn't old enough yet hasn't been able to come online on the game so I'm just kind of waiting to be able to play some games with some guys with some buddies and actually get some blackout gameplays hopefully on the channel where we get some wins because like I say my first ever win was in blackout which is stupid considering Fortnite had been out for however long and I never even got one but that game is neither here nor there though we're gonna just leave that in the past and watch all those screaming youtubers who want you know views and stuff like that to just come back and be like oh I'm gonna play Fort I'm not gonna play Fortnite anymore I was always a Call of Duty streamer and YouTuber whatever we don't like those guys on this channel so if you do like those guys on this channel Come, come, come here for something new because I'm, I'm giving you something new. But you know, again, my overall experience is great. Uh, the second thing that I don't really like or I think is a bit stupid is the fact that they tell you that you're going to get all this stuff. So there's meant to be like a certain weapon that you get when you start the game and 8,500 cod points or whatever amount of cod points you're supposed to get with your edition of the game that you might get. Mine was the biggest one so I would have got 8,500 and unfortunately they haven't put it into the game yet I don't know why that is um, it's just it's just one of those things you know it can't be helped but at the end of the day I'm sure it will come soon once they start putting out supply drops and stuff like that because there's not really much point having COD points and especially that amount of COD points if there's not going to be supply drops or anything like that in the game. So, you know, we, I'm really looking forward to seeing what this game has to hold and what the future has to hold for the game. Um, but that's just my kind of rendition of everything and the way that I've been looking at it. I'm going to carry on grinding out this game like there's no tomorrow. Uh, if you guys are enjoying the game or maybe haven't even had a chance to play it yet, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, what you've seen, what you think could be improved and maybe more so what you believe they could do in the future. But without further ado guys, this has been me, Luke aka Upson and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.